So the church leaders are looking at what Claire's doing and it's pretty much the way people probably looked at the Model T, like, I'll take my horse and buggy, that thing is never going to work. <laughs> Claire can be designated as a revolutionary, as a pioneer, as um, a, an original thinker, an original leader. I think normally when we think revolution, we think of armed conflict and danger and damage and, you know, just awful things that precede a breakthrough to freedom. But we know too that there are quiet revolutions. There are quiet revolutions every day, for example, in the laboratories of scientists, uh, quiet revolutions perhaps in uh, deepening an understanding of the human mind and the human psyche. Uh, Claire's revolution was, I believe, to want to be able to create a pathway in which women could create a communal life but support themselves through their own labor. The typical model of the time, the great Benedictine monasteries, um, were a model in which women came to the monastery with an endowment, with an inheritance. And very often they came from families that would continue to provide material support to the monastery. So the women could pursue long hours of uh, the divine office or prayer or certain works, but there was no sense that their work was absolutely necessary for putting food on the table. Claire and her sisters wanted to be like the brothers in that they would work to sustain themselves. And if they did not have enough work or if hard times befell them or the city, then they might resort to begging for food or firewood or whatever their needs might be. Uh, so in that regard, I think Claire was doing something really, really unusual. And it's one of the reasons why members of the hierarchy were so afraid. She was breaking the mold. And I don't believe that their opposition was sheer disrespect for her as a woman. In fact, we know they respected her. I think their opposition was their fear that she was being naive and that she did not understand how dangerous it could be for women not to have enough property to secure their livelihood. And, in, and in the monasteries would also rent out their lands and that rent was a part of their livelihood. So the church leaders are looking at what Claire's doing and it's pretty much the way people probably looked at the Model T, like, I'll take my horse and buggy, that thing is never going to work. 